Hello, hello, hello. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Winter's World, the podcast. Today, we go, honestly, no, I'm gonna be real. Y'all sitting in my room like this and just complete silence, no cameras, no lights, anything is a little intimidating. I don't know why. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be about superheroes and superpowers. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, for some reason, I think it's just because I've been seeing her all over Twitter. I've had my thoughts on Rogue lately. I, I just think about how her powers are so cool. But then I think about it, let's really dive into this. I, as a kid, was a major nerd. I was an X-Men bitch. I was a um, Marvel bitch. I was, I was that girl, okay? I had all the action figures. I think I got into comics like briefly, but then like right when I did, it's like when comics became quote uncool to me. Like, so I never like dove all the way in. So I guess you could say I did miss out on the comics, but I never missed out on a fucking movie, bitch. I'll tell you that much. I loved all the superhero movies growing up. And of course I loved all the women like, um, who the fuck? Emma Frost, bitch Rogue, Storm, bitch Invisible Woman for the Fantastic Four. That was my bitch. Who else? I'm drawing a blank just because there's pressure on me and this fucking microphone in front of me. But I guess in terms of like new age, because I really lost a part that I really lost like that part of me growing up I guess you could say because I definitely lost my connection with superheroes and like action figures and things like that just because I don't know I was growing up and I thought like I had to grow up in a sense but you can do whatever you want at any age like you can fucking read comics at fucking 48 if you want to you can do what you want to do so I guess in terms of like new age, of course, so cliche, bitch, I am obsessed with the Scarlet Witch. You do not understand. I love me some Wanda. Hold on. I love Wanda so much. I loved WandaVision. Don't be a fucking hater. Now we're going to get into super powers, honestly. This is what I'm mostly excited about. So growing up as a kid, the power I wanted, I want, like I had this whole fantasy in my head. My name was going to be everything because I wanted every power. Like that was going to be my power was just going to be everything. Like any power you could think of, I had it, <laughs> which is so unfair, but that's what I wanted. If I had to be realistic now, I think I would want the power. I think, again, I'm being cliche. I think chaos magic is pretty fucking cool. If you guys watch Young Justice, I don't know what season it is. I think it's season two. I could be wrong, but um, there's a character called Child. Her powers are pretty fucking cool. I would love that power. I feel like if I had powers like storms I, honestly no no i'm gonna be for real for real if i had superpowers like if the world was like that i would definitely probably be a super villain not trying to be cliche that's just like the dead out honest truth i would just do shit to do shit you know what i'm saying and i hate honestly i feel like sometimes superhero movies are so like unrealistic because there's too much dialogue we're really about to fight to the death and we're talking we're having a fucking conversation no bitch i'm gonna slice your head off if I had, bitch, if I had powers, there's no talking. What are you talking about? Oh my God. Ooh, speaking of superhero movies, can I be for real? I did not watch any of the Spider-Man movies after Tobey Maguire got, I think is his name, yeah, got replaced, the original Spider-Man. After he got replaced, I never saw any of the other ones. Not in like a shady way. They just, for some reason, never interested me. I don't know why. But I, I heard no, no Way Home is really, really good. I don't, I don't know why, it just for some reason, like, even now, like, it just, for some reason, Spider-Man just does not, like, pique my interest. He did when I was a kid, but now, I don't know. You know who never piqued my interest, but I had an action figure, I had so many action figures of him, Batman. As I got older, I realized, he's kind of whack. <laughs> whack in the sense of, like, girl, your power, your power is money, girl. Get out of my face. I had so many Batman action figures just because I was obsessed with his cape. You do not understand. I was so obsessed with his cape. And bitch, when I tell you, I was action figured down. I had like, I had all those bitches. Ugh. And it's crazy because like, I think about it now and I'm like, where the fuck are my toys that I had when I was a kid? I don't know where they are. Now that I'm bringing up action figures, I'm thinking about it. As a kid, I had such like a big imagination. Well, I mean, I still have a pretty good imagination now damn it but i'm saying as a kid like it was really cool to play with action figures i used to love them i just bumped the mic oopsie 
I actually had a dream that I had um, Carrie's power. I don't want to say Carrie's power. I had uh, telekinesis and I definitely was not using it for good. And it was such a short dream too. That's why I was, I was so pissed because it was such a short dream. Damn it. A superhero thing I just watched recently is uh, The Boys. The Boys is pretty good. Okay, I'll, I'm going to have to tell you guys an honest truth. I um I did shrooms. It was a while ago. I kind of, sort of. Four weeks, six weeks, four to six weeks ago, I did shrooms and I watched Doctor Strange, by uh, the both of them. And it was a pretty great time. I watched like a lot of Marvel movies. I finished Moon Knight that night. It was a little intense watching that last episode of Moon Knight. All the fucking rooms and shit. Oscar Isaacs is so fine. If he's watching this, if you're listening, I want you. I've always thought pyrokinesis was pretty cool. I feel like that'd be a pretty cool power for me as well. I would definitely be fucking wreaking havoc with that shit. I think a power like, I mean, technically he had powers. Ben 10, I mean, his only power is his damn watch. It'd be cool to have like a alien transformer kind of watch. Damn, I feel that, that watch was pretty fucking bulky. I feel like I'd get sick of that shit. Of course, this whole episode's just going to be everywhere. I think visual effects in movies is like too advanced for them to not make a Storm origin movie. It's a little ridiculous. They need to cast her really, really well. I want to see in total six strikes of lightning in the whole fucking movie. Do not, because you know in all the other movies, they don't show her full potential with her power and they just show her fucking strike and lightning, which I get it. I understand. That's like one of her things. That's one of her main things, of course, but she can do more than fucking strike lightning. Damn. I'm sick of this shit. I want to see a fucking tsunami. You get what I'm saying? Hold on. And I want to see a really good Poison Ivy movie. That would be great. I heard they're doing a new Fantastic Four. I saw the um, the phase whatever announcement thing, but I uh, can't remember off the top of my head. If I had the power to be invisible, I'd probably just like, <laughs> I'd probably just steal a lot if we're being 1000% honest here. Especially if I can make other stuff invisible too. Yeah, you got me fucked up. I'd probably mess with people too. I'd probably make somebody invisible randomly, like while they're talking to their friend or while their friend is turned around. Um, if you have seen the boys, I forget her name after they said her real name. Nadia, spoiler alert, bitch, her power is crazy. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> she just fucking looks at you and pow, 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 pop, pop, pop. But if I had Scarlet Witch powers, like reality warping, I do you feel like I would use it for good, but good in, like, my favor? Do you get what I'm saying? I would definitely be a type of ruler. Of course, of course, of course. Why would I lie? Why would I lie? I feel like if I was in the Avengers, I feel like me and Wong would get into a fight. I feel like Wong involves himself within a lot, and I know somebody's going to say, but he's the, um, whatever it is. I know what it is, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. The, that. He's one of those. He's like a main bitch. And I understand that. But let's not forget where we came from, you little whore. Because weren't you working at that fucking library? Counting books? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so let's pipe down and in involving ourselves in everything. That's why Wanda threw that ass off that mountain. You know what? We won't get into it. Honestly, and I feel like me and um Hawkeye would get into it too. I'd be like, bitch, arrow me. Now, do it. Honestly, no lie. If my power was just like I got like a like stronger and I could just fight really well, aka my powers fighting, Captain Black Widow, Hawkeye. I'd be a little fucking scared going in a battlefield with a bitch I've never seen before because next thing I know, I'm floating and then being ripped apart. Come on now. Bitch, if my power was fighting, I don't want to... No, I, I don't think I'd fight. No, I'd, I'd rather sit on the sideline for all that shit. Bitch, me fighting versus a bitch who can pick me up with her mind. Are you kidding? Speaking of picking up with your mind, why have I not fucking talked about Jean Grey? That was my bitch. Before Wanda, there was Jean Grey. That was my girl. Okay. Oh my God. I was so obsessed with her. I was going to say I had an action figure of her, but of course I did. Uh, I always thought it was cool that she could, of course, move shit with her mind. My favorite Jean was, of course, the, what X-Men movie is that? Where Jean goes crazy and she kills Charles and she destroys like all that shit and Wolverine has to kill her. That is, oh, 
one of my favorite X Men movies, just because I'm obsessed with Jean. That made me obsessed with Jean. Oh, I thought that was so cool. If I had that kind of power, ugh, it'd be hell for everybody. Okay, so I technically don't know what else to say. I kind of just sat here for like 30 minutes staring at the wall. So if you liked it, like it. If you had a favorite part, comment it. Other than that, this podcast episode here is over. If you could have superpowers, what would it be? And what would you do with your power? Would you be good? Would you be bad? Hero, villain, tell the truth. You can be as honest as you want here. Bye.